we're going to be brief because we've got a lot of stuff going on today and we've been working hard. Where's my sheets? You didn't print them, did you? 60 is the number. 60 is the number. To nine, Representative Reese, nine. Do you know what that represents? 60 House bills have passed through the Senate. Nine have passed through the House. Nine Senate bills have passed through the House. Yeah, that got you to nine. It was six before today. This is, these are, these are real-time numbers. Real-time numbers. All right. Yes, sir. Senator Dugan. I just saw the AJC headline, though. It says House nearly doubles bill output today. Oh, wow. 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 All right. Well, so HB 76, I'm carrying that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to hear from it. So we're not doing that one today. Let's see. HB 175, Senator Daniel, or Representative Daniel, Representative Reese, you're going. Yes, you can come talk about it. Yes, to the podium, sir. I just want you to know I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad at the situation. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll be brief here. House Bill 175. Uh, really, it's two parts to this bill. Section two gives revenue sharing to two organizations that already have um, state tax. That's Alpha Phi Alpha and Alpha Kappa Alpha. I'm sorry, Kappa Alpha Psi. And section one established a state plate for all constitutional officers. Right now, our agriculture commissioner, as well as the public service commissioners, do not have state tax. And so we want them to be able to have that option. And just for the general public knowledge, the individuals do pay for this tag, and it also increases revenue for the state, sir. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chairman. And the PSC, they wanted, they, did they request these tags? Yes, sir. They're on here as well. Who, on the, who requested it from the PSC? I'm not exactly sure who Just the curious. individuals are, sir, but. All right, any questions from the committee? Thank you, Representative Reese. Is this your first bill? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Oh, well, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Senator Harbin, you want to you address your representative there? Yeah, I want to know what number, I thought you had 175. Yes, sir, House Bill 175. It's 175, it yes, says sir. Daniel. Who's I'm presenting for Laura Daniel, sir. Okay, all yes, right, sir. in that case. You got to stand in for me next time. So is it your first bill or her first bill? No, she's pl passed plenty of bills. This is my first one, though. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Senator Robertson. Hello, uh, Representative Reese. Just curious. I know this is this is your first bill. Yes, sir. Is this the first bill that that y'all have passed out of the House this session? No, no, sir. It's not. Have y'all been in session? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Mr. Appreciate Chairman, I want the record to reflect that I'm a part of the amazing Columbus delegation where Senator Harbison and Senator Robinson is a part of as well. That's great. You're also a member of the House, <laughs> which over in these parts ain't too good right now. Well, I'll share the sentiments with the, with the speaker, so, sir, Mr. Chairman. That's okay. Well, thank you for being here. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, oh sir. one more. One more from the dean of the Senate. Yes, sir. My leader, why? Your name is... Reason that you are you the second side, the first side? Yes, sir. I work with Miss Daniels on the bill. I understand, yes, sir. Right. She yes, had sir. a good rep. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm carrying the water today. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Carrying the water, he says. <laughs> All right, you. let's go on to the next one. Is uh, Representative Gunter here? No, mm. That's the court reporter's monthly contingent expense and travel allowance. Anybody want to cover that? Rep. Senator Hatchett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I am covering for uh, Chairman Gunter on this one, but this is a I great got a quick bill. question. Yes. Before you get going, are, have any of your bills passed in the House since you got governor bills? They have not. And first lady bills, are they passing? Not yet. I haven't uh, seen them pass yet. Ah, uh, Senator Albers. Uh, I, I have uh, been the House Rules many times, and I've never had a House member jump in to help me out and take my place at House Rules before. So, just wondering, you know, should we be doing that for them? I wrote it. I wrote it. 
I ain't gonna lie, I have, so you may want to work on your relationships. <laughs> but it's a good bill, and more important, of note, tomorrow is court reporter day at the Capitol. Oh, well, that's important to know. This should be a very appropriate to time for this bill to pass if the committee is... Uh, I mean, that's a that's a huge plus. The only negative is that it's HB in front of that 176. You can amend it if you'd like. I'm good with that. Can I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Mercedes? Mercedes says I can't do that. I listen to her. I got you. So, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any questions for <clears throat> Representative Hatchett? <laughs> Are you a floor leader? Is this, are you have your floor leader hat on, or you have your house hat on? Which is it? Are you a house floor leader? <laughs> no, I'm not. He's a no. spy. You're a spy. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer. They have question, passed Chairman. your bills. Those nine bills were probably all yours, weren't they? Not that I know of. They didn't have my name on them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good question. All right. Be gone. HB 373, Representative Jones, are you with us? Okay. No, we're not going to, you ain't here, you ain't here. HB 460, Representative Ballinger. Well, I'm carrying this one, so I'll cover it. This one's important. We're not going to let the children get caught up in our, our little disputes. But essentially, this is just giving, uh, making sure our foster children have proper representation. So, in court cases, specifically in legitimacy cases. Any questions? All right, Colonel Hitchens, I see you back there. Did you want to address the committee? I haven't, I haven't seen the list yet. I don't know whether uh, House Bill 35 is on or not. Not at but the I, moment. I'd be glad to speak to it. But with that shirt, I don't know how I missed the putting your bill on here. I was, I've been trying to get Who your attention. You? I've been trying to get your attention for a while. <laughs> you got it, Colonel. <laughs> you got it. I bet you they didn't let you wear that in the core, did they? I, I've been married 55 years, and I wear what my wife buys me. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Go ahead. Cover uh, your bill for us. House Bill uh, 35 is for the Georgia Ports Authority. Uh, the largest economic engine in this state. And what it does is it seeks to extend their uh, police jurisdiction one mile in a one mile radius from the actual port. And the reason for this is twofold. Number one is that uh, <coughs> the, the expansion of the port has been so rapid and so great that they have, they've had to purchase property off site. So they want to have their law enforcement officers have authority as they, as they uh, transit back and forth. And number two is uh, parts of it in my district uh, are bordered by small communities, cities of Port Wentworth and Garden City. And typically they have three to five people on duty at any time. The Port Authority has 206 law enforcement officers. And they have volunteered, they work, they have a very symbiotic relationship with the, uh, with the ports. And uh, they have a minor traffic congestion all the time at the entrance to the ports. They have minor wrecks, and the Port Authority Police and the Port Authority Director have said that they will deal with those traffic situations if uh, if this bill passes. And uh, it's uh, it's very beneficial. All the fire uh, apparatus and fire responses come from these two cities. The Port Authority has no fire, so they all work together. And I have a letter from every police agency in Chatham County and Glenn County uh, saying that they're advocating for this. Good bill. Any questions for the colonel? Senator Kowser. Does, does that apply to the inland ports as well? You know, we have some inland ports. Does that apply? To <laughs> it was amended in committee yesterday, and, uh, and uh, inland ports were taken off. I don't know whether that will come back at a later date. You know, they're very new, and uh, I doubt that they have the same situation there that they, they have, particularly in Savannah with the ports and the congestion and you know, 15,000 trucks a day enter into the port. And, uh, Would it be safe to say that Inland Port was not the intent of the bill? No, it wasn't. And, and it was a second thought to me when it came up. I, I had no, uh, you know, I, I, I was very well, very open to the amendment. Okay. If you had any third thoughts? Well, the fellow that amended, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't allow some of his bills to get in my committee when he was in the House. So. 
Understood. All right. Well, any other questions for the? Oh, Senator Walker. Uh, Mr. Chairman, isn't it true that we passed one of the good colonel's bills today in the Senate? We did. And um, sure did. he is one of my favorite House members for sure. Well, but um, that's probably why his bill got done today. I would love it if he could help us over in the yeah house with our senate bills yeah. about 30 minutes ago i passed a bill for senator alpers in the house your your bill today made up one ninth of all senate bills that have passed <laughs> one ninth and i'm very i'm deeply appreciative well Colonel, Glad i could support since we were both in the department of the navy together yes sir <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> i was on a marine transport by the way I, I did the men's department did travel with me <laughs> so thank you for being here in that beautiful shirt well thank you it is see is it is that like state trooper blue the tie and the shirt could be i don't have any gray with it but uh i don't know the hair's got you covered my wife said it matched my my wife said it matched my eyes so Ooh. oh <laughs> keep it clean keep it clean what <laughs> Pajama, I don't, that's a question for the colonel. Yeah. <laughs> colonel, would it be permissible for a senator to wear their pajamas in house rules? It all depends on what kind you wear. I, <laughs> I guess with the right tie. <laughs> if you wear a tie, it is acceptable. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Colonel. Appreciate you. you. Senator James, did you have something? Sure. Um, can somebody help her with that microphone? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. HB 373 is identical to the bill that I carried and, and it got stuck in a committee. So do you and want 373? You want me to I hold do. it? I do. I want to talk about it. All right, it. Yes. go ahead. Go it's ahead. the first, uh, September 11th, as First Responders Appreciation Day. And mm -hmm. that's all it will do, designate Okay. That. So please consider it, and I appreciate it. I will. It it's has for, been it's considered. It's for Sheila Jones, but we had the same bill. Thank you. You got it. Senator James, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got some other representatives back there. I'm, anybody here I have not? I can't see. Senator Davenport. Oh, there you are. Did you want to? Did you need anything? is for the Rosenwald schools uh, for uh, the history of the black uh, 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 schools in the early in 1900s. 251. Uh, and it's a resolution for a study committee. And uh, Oh yeah, well Senator as you well know that you know Senate the study committees go to go to the rules and then we <laughs> we tend to in years past, we've always passed those out all together towards the end of the session, which mm -hmm. I know we're getting towards the end of the session. So okay. um, you'll see study committees start to fly out here. Okay, very shortly. good. If someone told me the rules might have changed. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Not under my watch. Oh, okay. Except for a couple of rules. But. All right. Do I have anything for the good of the order? Anybody want to just get anything off their chest? I, I did. Uh, repeat that question. Did I hear you say 60 to 9? I did. Remind me what those numbers were. I kind of forgot. I think 60 to 9, which means they're not even to double digits yet of Senate bills. That's w that's one Senate bill for what, every 30 House members, if my math is correct? No, my math's not correct. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's one for every 20. 20. Yeah. I was on the number yesterday because they worked really hard today and passed three Senate bills. Yeah. So yep. if they if they have six, they have nine. Is that right? Nine, nine. Senate bills to our sixty House bills. So we've mm -hmm. been doing eighty-five percent of the work here under the Gold Dome. Eighty-five wow. percent versus fifteen percent. Wow. That's just um, yeah. I get it. I wonder how the members of this audience feel about that. They look pretty disappointed to me. A lot of sad faces out there for our viewers at home, for all four people watching at home. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> My Vice Chairman, you got something on, on your mind? You know, Mr. Chairman, I was just looking. That one down at the bottom of the page looked like a good number to pick. 
Just just the one, not any of the bills, but just the one. You know what? You being my vice. You talking about HB 460? No, just the one down here, baby. Oh, just the one. Yeah, I wouldn't pick any of those other numbers up there. They, 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 you well. Know, you know, if they're not going to move ours. Well, there, there's, you theirs. know, the house wants to play games. That's fine. You're above it. I'm above, well, not really. Um, <laughs> let's be honest. But, I, you know, tomorrow being court reporter day, I don't. You know, our court reporters do good work. I don't want them to get caught in the crossfire. So we're going to put that on the floor tomorrow. That's HB 176, brought to us by Chairman Gunter's floor leader, Senator Hatchett. And I think, you know, y'all all know I'm a, I've got a special place in my heart for our foster kids and so I'm, I don't want them to get caught in our crossfire so HB 460 will be on the floor tomorrow Gork's going to live to fight another day so HB 76 is not going on the floor kind of want that to be a slow bleed out uh, Nah, we got till September 11th to get that done. So we're going to hold on that one. And license plates, we're going to hold off on that too. So, so for tomorrow, I've got HB 176, HB 460. I've got a motion from my vice chairman. I got a second from Senator Anderson, who is not my secretary. <laughs> Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. aye. All opposed? Me. <laughs> all right, motion passes unanimous. Meeting adjourned. Go to your committee meetings.